the amount of wax that is surrounding me right now I have a serious problem and it just doesn't stop I mean every time I think I'm not buying wax this month they have a restock and they have a restock and my pre-order shipped guys I have an almost three hundred dollar L3 Waxy Wonders pre-order that I am here to share with you guys today. Hey guys, it's me, Drew, and welcome back to my channel. As you saw from the intro and the title above, I have a huge, gigantic, monstropolis, monstrous, all the big words of L3 to share with you today. This was my first ever pre-order from L3 Waxy Wonders. Now, if you're not familiar with L3, L3 is famous for having very inexpensive wax, really crazy blends, fast turnaround time, and the woman and her team, Jennifer, pour and pour and pour till they just can't pour no more. They go to sleep and they pour some more. And they always have such amazing wax for sale, and it gets me every time. They have scoops, they had samplers, they had loaves, and it was all fall. And if you know me, <laughs> you know I love myself some fall. So I placed a pretty big order, and I will say I was so antsy for it to come. And then when I found out it shipped, I'm like, where am I going to put this wax? I have so much wax, I don't know where I'm going to put it. So I went to Ikea. I got this awesome, amazing, beautiful, like, filing cabinet sort of situation that I spent a whole day organizing. It looks so good. And I promise I will do a wax tour. I'm going to do Meltly weekly wax melts. I want to come up with something really fun and clever for the title. I haven't come up with that yet, but I definitely want to do that in the future. But you are holding me right here, except for September 1st to get Destination Wax. I am not ordering any wax the entire month of September. That does not mean my orders have already placed. I haven't got pre-orders, etc. It's the only thing. I'm not buying any more wax for a whole month of September, I want to use it up. I want to be able to get all my orders in so I can show you my current wax stash. Who thinks I'm going to break it on September 3rd? I'm not even giving it. I'm not even giving it a week. I'm giving it 3 days after. Like I said, I'm placing an order on the 1st with Destination Wax. But no more after that. I have enough wax to last me a lifetime, so I have friends who come over and I say, grab a bag, fill it up. You have a warmer at home? Amazing. Let's get you some wax. All right. I rambled enough. Let's talk about the wax I have sitting next to me. I think we'll start small and work my way up. The first thing I have in the box is the motivational quote sticker that comes in every single L3 package. And this one says, mistakes are proof you are trying. Love that. I love that she includes one of those motivational stickers. Sometimes you just really need to hear those things. Now, in the pre-order, she offered the small four ounce scoops. Now, if you don't know what scoopable wax is, it's a really soft, highly scented wax that you can take a spoon, scoop out a little bit, and you need a lot less than you think. With scoopable wax, it's highly concentrated. Pop it in your warmers, get your scent that way. Now, these are her four ounces. She also offers her eight ounces, which this one's super fun. Since it's already here, we'll talk about it. She did a pride loaf during the last pre-order. Oh, I guess I did have a pre-order then. I can't even keep track. This is her pride scoop. So as you see, the top is purple, but then every layer is a rainbow. I, I think that is amazing. It goes to the LGBT community. I love that. And the scent is cookie therapy craze. So it's like an ultimate cookie bakery scent. And if you see me like rubbing the top of the scoops, it's just warming up the oils on the top. 
And this is like her ultimate bakery cookie type of scent. It smells so good. So, so good, you guys. Mm, it's like an ultimate rich cookie bakery type of scent. Now, what I will say too about her scoops, I let all of L3 Wax um, cure for about a month before I start melting it. That seems to be my sweet spot for most vendors. I like to keep it in my home, in my environment for at least a month before I dive into it and pop it in my warmers. Really lets that oil cure, really getting that wax super strong. All right. So now on to my little scoops. I have Spin Cycle, which says strong, clean laundry scent. I really wanted to get a lot of clean scents for my bathroom, for just like my reset. Sometimes I really need that. And that's exactly what this smells like. It smells just like uh, laundry detergent. Really fresh, really clean, like you just did a huge load of laundry, and it's in the Spin Cycle. You popped, um, you went downstairs, to check on it and it's uh, rinsing all that nasty laundry detergent. It doesn't smell nasty, but it smells like clean clothes. Next, we have a Delicate Cycle, which is clean lavender and clean cotton. And now that I think about this, I thought I ordered watermelon spin cycle. I'll have to look at my invoice. Maybe I did not. Delicate Cycle, clean lavender and clean cotton. And this is also a really fresh scent. You don't, I don't smell a lot of lavender, but uh, again, scoops are harder to smell. To me, it smells more like just clean cotton rather than like an actual laundry detergent. Then we have Oregon Autumn, which is crisp, clean, and fresh fallen leaves with a hint of rain. Also thought of this as like a very clean scent, good for the bathroom, good fresh scent. Oh yeah, and it's like a sweet scent. So it says crisp, clean, fresh fallen leaves with a hint of rain. And I assume from what I'm talking about next, her rain scent is super sweet because I love the scent of rain. Especially it rains a lot here in Pittsburgh, so I like when I know a rainstorm is coming, changing all my wax to a rain scent because it just really, that smell of that rain, it's so cozy to me. I love when it rains. I love that, you know, new life is being grown and all the fun things about rain. Rainstorm. Rainstorm is just that, like, it's about to rain. Ooh, and this has a hint of like a fresh grass. I mean, if you smell the thunderstorm set from Cincy, it's a dead on dew. It smells just like it. It's like that very warm rain. Like it has already rained and you step outside. The grass is wet. The steps are wet. It's a little bit more humid in the air because of that rain. Oh, so good. And then the last scoop I have is Mrs. One of my two samplers. Mrs. Doubt. <laughs> Mrs. Doubtfire. And this is a lemon cream pie, coconut cream pie, and cream cheese frosting. I think every single person who placed a pre-order whose videos I watched, which Danny, shout out to Danny, shout out to Etta, shout out to Charity, shout out to Hannah, Jessica D. I love watching all your videos. Oh, this smells so good. Again, like everybody else says, I do just smell a more lemon bakery. I'm not getting cream cheese frosting. I'm not getting coconut cream pie. I'm really just getting like a really rich lemon bakery scent, which I love lemon bakery. So I'm not complaining, but I don't really get any like coconut cream pie or anything like that. Mm. It's yummy though. And because I have so much wax here, and things keep falling. Once I do a little section, I'm going to pause, put it away, and come back. Next, we will talk about loaves. The first loaf that I have here is hot pink, and it is Santa's on Keto. And this says vanilla ice cream, vanilla wafer, vanilla cookies, and brown sugar butter cupcakes. The reason why I wanted to order this one is because I never smelled Santa's on Keto on its own, so I wanted to know what it's like. And this is good. It is a very creamy vanilla bakery. But then in the end, you do get that like brown sugar butter cookies. So it is a very rich vanilla cake. 
And then, like I said, right at the end, just a really sweet brown sugar. I really like that. And then that, like, thick, thick butter. So that's a really good one. It'll be a really good blender, I think. Season of the Witch matches my hair. And this one says, our highly sought after apples and leaves blend. I have been so into apple scents this year. And I love leaves, which is like a mulled apple cider. This is so good. Guys, whenever I smell the wax, I go, I like inhale the bag of all that amazing juice. So you definitely get that like warm mulled apple cider and then crisp, fresh, juicy apples. Once this cures, oh my God, when the leaves start to fall and I pop that throughout my warmers, I'm so excited. Then we have Pennywise. Now, just the description itself sold me. Sweet funnel cake dusted with powdery sugar, powdered sugar, topped with strawberry and raspberry syrup. This is not a spicy funnel cake scent. I don't understand why people come up with spicy funnel cake. Like, funnel cake, I've never eaten a spicy one. And this smells just like a funnel cake. Like, I'm instantly transported back to going to carnivals as a kid, ordering a funnel cake, they put the syrup on there, super fruity syrup, maybe even has chunks of fruit, and then my sticky fingers with all that powdered sugar, yum. And I love that they named it Pennywise, and orange is my favorite color, so what a winner there. Today is October 3rd. I'm like Danny, I love this scent. Palo Santo is my kryptonite. Well, technically I've said in my last video, Cider Lane is my kryptonite. Uh, Palo Santo is just like, it's like the bread and butter of wax. Like, if you don't like Palo Santo and you're waxy, what are you doing with your life? Because Palo Santo is so good and um, L3's is out of this world and it is her Palo Santo blended with sugar cookie royale and toasted marshmallow. So it's this creamy, sweet, marshmallowy scent mixed with that um, woodiness of Palo Santo, an ultimate bed bedtime scent. I put a spell on you, which is cinnamon sugar, not spicy cinnamon, French baguettes on our top secret bakery blend. Now, I love cinnamon sugar toast, so cinnamon sugar baguette. It smells like that. A yeasty, fresh baked bread that you slathered with butter and it's melting so that bread is nice and soft and you sprinkle that jar that you peeled the label off of, of cinnamon and you add your sugar, shake it up, sits in your counter, in your cupboard, you take it out, sprinkle it on that toast late at night because you're craving something sweet but you don't have any cake at home. I've maybe done that once or twice or a hundred times. And you have the best little sweet, sweet craving um, fill. I love that. I love how you can capture that cinnamon sugar toast scent in wax. Then we have Sleepy Hollow. And this one says vanilla pound cake with pumpkin cream filling and cream cheese frosting. I'm a sucker for any pumpkin bakery. And this is no exception. You really pick up on the pumpkin here. It's like pumpkin puree, like that Libby's right out of the can. Pumpkin puree. And then you get that vanilla pound cake, like a sweet, rich vanilla cake. Mmm, so good. Cream cheese frosting is always hard for me to smell in wax. I feel like it's another one of those like blender scents. Or sometimes it can come across like really, really um, like sour. Now, did not mean to order two loaves of these. I'm not upset that I ordered two loaves, but I mean, I could have got a different scent that I wanted to try, but it's okay. Roasted Coffee White Elephant Exchange. I was just going so fast, which I don't understand why. It was just a pre-order. I didn't need to rush, but this says vanilla ice cream, vanilla wafer, vanilla cookies, and brown sugar butter cookies, which is her White Elephant Exchange. But now I'm confused because isn't that... Hmm. That's also the description of Santa's on Keto. Okay, so is Santa's on Keto 
like white elephant exchange mixed with something because that's also what white elephant exchange does. And now I don't remember. Mixed with roasted coffee. So it's a very creamy coffee scent. Like how I like my iced coffee with lots of cream, lots of milk, and lots of sugar and syrup. So you basically have a little bit of coffee and a lot of fixings. That's exactly what this smells like. I love a coffee blend in the morning. I talked about how these warmers automatically turn on at 9 a.m. So like popping these in a warmer before I turn it, before you know I wake up and it instantly turns on to that fresh smell of coffee is the equivalent for me of getting your coffee in the morning and it's amazing. Plain old pumpkin pecan waffles. You can never, ever, to me, have too much pumpkin pecan waffles in your life. And I know when I have no more candles and I'm craving pumpkin pecan waffles in like April, I can pop this, chop this up, pop this in my warmers, because it is a dead on dupe. That brown sugar, yeasty waffle blended with that cinnamony, sugary pumpkin. Ugh. It's the best scent ever, ever made. I love it. I'm getting right through. Graveyard. Leaves, toasted mallow, and Granny Smith apples. So, similar to how Season of the Witch was like an apple-y leaf scent mixed with toasted marshmallow. I actually really get green apple, like that sour green apple. I'm not getting a ton of the leaves, but I'm, I'm actually getting toasted marshmallow, which I like. It's different. It's good. Hmm. I feel like I need to, like, actually take this one out of the bag and smell it. And, like, ooh, I don't want to. I don't want to get wax everywhere because I don't plan on cutting this up anytime soon. Yeah, it's like a, it's like a marshmallowy leaves type of scent. Yeah, like an apple marshmallow. It's good. I'm not completely sold on it, but, like I said, these just came and I'm not planning on... This, honestly, I probably won't even cut till next year. So, it's probably just going to sit in that bag, cure and marinate for a long time, and next year it'll blow my socks off. Benny and June. Now I'm confused. No, I'm okay. <laughs> I have this in a scoopable. Benny and June is French baguettes, honey butter, and blackberry marmalade. I love a sweet blackberry scent. And this is no exception. You get that really sweet blackberry with a little bit of tartness. Surprisingly, I pick up on honey butter. I get that like sweet gooey honey. But French baguette is actually the scent I get the least of. I do smell it, but it's not dominant where sometimes fresh baked bread scents can't be the dominant note. It's not in there, which I love. Two more loaves. I have Hufflepuff which I have a whole entire sampler of Hufflepuff to talk about in a little bit. And this is fresh baked cookies, sweet cinnamon sugar, and pumpkin pasties. Just like a lot of people, I always thought pumpkin pasties was a typo. It's not. Pumpkin pasties is an actual type of pastry. It's just like a really doughy, flaky um, pastry filled with pumpkin puree. And that smells so good. It smells like a cinnamon sugar pastry with sweet pumpkin inside. Oh, I love pumpkin. I just love pumpkin. I mean, have you ever had a bad day when you had pumpkin? No, ever. As soon as I have a pumpkin spice latte, my, my day's instantly better. Although, that new apple cider mar macchiato from Starbucks, it's right up there on that list. That's what I had today before work. Then we have the cupboard under the stairs, the last loaf, and this is a special birthday cake made up of strawberry cream and crushed Nella wafers. I love strawberry. And I love this. Now it's not strawberry jam. This is a strawberry cream, so it is definitely more creamy strawberry. Almost like, like a strawberry yogurt. So you have like where the fruit on the bottom yogurt, you stir it up so it makes that strawberry really creamy. And you can get birthday cake, like a sweet, fun Fetty cake. Mmm. It's really good. And then Nella wafers just makes everything better. I really, really like that. I like a sweet strawberry. I actually moved through the loaves pretty fast. I'm going to go put these back 
and now talk about the samplers. As you have probably gathered by now, I love myself some bakery scents, I love myself some foodie scents, so I knew the Hufflepuff sampler was going to be right up my alley. Now, let me get one where you can actually really tell. This would be a good one. So her samplers, she offered, I believe that was five different samplers. There was a Hufflepuff sampler, a Leaves sampler, a Kalachi sampler, which is like a pastry scent, um, fresh picked strawberries, and maybe one more, or maybe that was it. It's either four or five. But anyway, they are in her chunky bunts. So essentially, they have her little bunt shapes, but then there are chunks on top. So what this is like is the yellow in the middle is her Hufflepuff, and then the blue scent is the overpour. So with this sampler as Hufflepuff, everything in this scent has Hufflepuff. So... I'm not going to keep reading the scent description of Hufflepuff, which is that pumpkin pastry cookie type of scent. And the first one is Late Night Cookie Therapy Hufflepuff. So it is her Hufflepuff mixed with cookie therapy, blueberries, and sweet cream. So a super sweet blueberry mixed with that pumpkin. And yeah, I mean... It's an interesting combo because, I mean, there is blueberry pumpkin patch out there, so it's not that unheard of, but it is like a rich blueberry, a fruity blueberry, really strong blueberry mixed with like that cinnamon sugar pumpkin. I, I, I really like that. I do love blueberry and wax. I know it's not really always authentic in wax because blueberry isn't really super authentic. Then we have Don't Cross Streams Hufflepuff, which is her, like, super rich vanilla bakery. And that's mainly what I'm smelling. These are hard. I'm mainly getting, from what I've smelled on both of these samplers, the regular fragrance because the Hufflepuff is in the middle. So once you cut and melt them is when you're really going to truly get the blend. That's why I definitely want to start doing melting videos so you guys can see what I think when they're blended together. But... Yeah, I get that super rich, really creamy vanilla scent, which are my favorite type of scents to melt at bedtime, like I've said before, versus like pepperminty or lavender scents. I love bakery at night because it just helps me get really comfy for bed. And then we have Cookie Therapy Hufflepuff, which is Santa's on Keto, Pretzel, and Sugared Shortbread. Yeah, I thought Pretzel was in sugar, Santa's on Keto. She has so many different scents, I can't keep track. Now, this I do not like because I don't like that pretzel. Shantae sees the fly. I don't like that pretzel scent. It's that, like, it's that really off-putting yeasty scent. So, I don't like that, which is strange because I like Santa's on Keto. Uh, something is up. I'm not sure. <laughs> then we have Pumpkin Pecan Waffles Sugar Cookie Royale Hufflepuff. So... I love me a pumpkin pecan waffles, and I love sugar cookie royale, so, and I love this. It definitely, the sugar cookie royale and the Hufflepuff mellowed down the crazy, sweet, super gooey, strong pumpkin pecan waffles. So I almost feel like if you want to try pumpkin pecan waffles and you know you don't really like it on its own, try it mixed with things because I feel like when you have it mixed with things, it's not nearly as overpowering. The Burrow Hufflepuff, and this is like this insane bright green color, fresh baked cinnamon rolls with extra brown sugar and vanilla frosting. I mean, I could just eat that. That sounds amazing. Extra brown sugar and vanilla frosting on a cinnamon roll. Now see, brown sugar to me is just like a sweet sugar scent, unless, like in pumpkin pecan waffles, because of the pumpkins, the pecan, the waffle notes, with the brown sugar it like accentuates so I really smell the brown sugar. I'm not picking it up as much in this. It just smells like a very sugary, sweet cinnamon scent. It's good. I really like it, but I'm not picking up on the truly rich brown sugar. Mm -hmm. 
Cider Lane Hufflepuff. Now, I watched Danny's video, and I was literally screaming, Yes, Danny! Finally, somebody else said this. Cider Lane Hufflepuff. Now, this does not smell like Cider Lane. I, I mean, to me, Cider Lane is Cider Lane. It's gooey, creamy, amazing caramel. And... Honestly, I don't really smell anything. I smell like the lightest hint of like, like a sugar cookie. Yeah, I, I literally smell like nothing. And anything Cider Lane is mixed with, like you smell it. And I have this in a scoop and I have this in a loaf and it all smells the same. It doesn't smell like anything. So I don't know what's up with her Cider Lane oil. But, not a fan. Benny and June Hufflepuff. French baguettes, honey butter, blackberry marmalade, mixed with delicious cinnamon sugared pumpkin. Oh, Benny and June is so good. The more I smell it, the more I love it. That bready blackberry honey scent. Oh, it's amazing how honey can just add. I made this awesome baked brie and I put raspberries and a drizzle of honey on it and it's amazing how honey can make the flavor of everything else just chef's kiss. It just comes out so perfect every single time when you add honey. And then the last one of the Hufflepuff is sugared shortbread buttercream frosting Hufflepuff. Yum. And yum, it's delish. I mean, it is a super sweet, rich buttercream scent. Like, you would get a cavity when you, if you ate this wax. You'd have a lot more than a cavity if you ate wax, but. It smells like those, you know, when you used to get, I say at Sam's or Costco, a birthday cake that was so sweet, the icing, it, it, you had to brush your teeth after, like you had a film on your teeth. It was so sweet. That's what this smells like. So. I mean, I like it. It's a good, like, birthday scent. And I think once you mix it with the cinnamon sugary pumpkin, it won't be as overpowering. All right. So that was the Hufflepuff sampler. Let's move into the leaves sampler. They are all, obviously, fragrances mixed with leaves. Except I believe one of them, it's a different type of leaves. Um, but we'll get into that. The first one is orange, my favorite color, Mike Myers. Welcome home, Mikey. Cinnamon sugar cookies, caramel apples, and leaves. Now, when I smell this, I smell Cider Lane. I smell a little bit of Cider Lane. Not a ton, so that's why I'm a bit confused as to her regular Cider Lane. Because to me, it smells like that gooey caramel apple. And the, the chunks definitely are just leaves because I don't smell it anywhere else. It's like a gooey caramel apple with just a hint of that spicy apple from the leaves. And I do find it very interesting that for Bath and Body Works to call a scent leaves, but it smells like mulled apple cider. It's interesting. Oregon Autumn, I already talked about this in Scoopable. It is like a fresh fallen sweet rainy leaf scent. This is the one that does not smell like regular leaves. So I just think it had, the this leaf sampler was just like the theme leaves. Then L Leviosa, is that how you say it? Apple cider leaves and spice. So we have like the spicy apple with more apple cider. And this really just smells like leaves toned down. It's like you took that leaves oil and you like diluted it with water. Not saying that is a bad thing. It's just the apple cider and spices, which is the white scent versus the overpour of the leaves. Leaves is such a strong oil. I feel like it just gets really mellowed out with that in Leviosa. So if you are a not a huge fan of the leaves scent, I think you would really like that. Season of the Witch, I talked about that as well. It is the bestseller, Apples and Leaves. So good. I, I love apple scents, which is why I love the leaf scent. Oh, I dropped it. 
Han shot first. It's true. Cider Lane, fresh baked bread, and leaves. Again, I feel like her Cider Lane oil makes the whole scent smell unscented. I smell the tiniest bit of fresh baked bread. And that's it. Like, the tiniest bit. But I don't smell Cider Lane. And... I smell a little bit of leaves, and that's because of the overpour. But, again, I don't know what's up with her Cider Lane oil, but I'm not a fan. And then the last three, we have a Butcher Knife, which I have in a scoopable from the last order. Graham Crackers Pumpkin Toasted Mallow Leaves. This is good. This is a gooey marshmallow like a with a graham cracker. This is a very authentic graham cracker, you guys. It smells like... You took honey-made graham crackers and crunched them up, put them in a bag, and mixed it with marshmallows. It's so good. I don't smell much leaves, but I think it comes out when you melt it. Graveyard, which I also got in a loaf, which is leaves, toasted mallow, Granny Smith apples. Hmm. What I'll probably do is I'll melt these this year and then see what I think and I'll save the loaves for next year so that way I these still will be cured for about a month really get to see what I think that's probably what I'll do and then the last one of this really long haul drums of autumn fallen leaves flaky pie crust and bakery bomb which is like her secret bakery blend now I smell flaky pie crust for sure for sure Fallen leaves, to me that's like a very um, conceptual fragrance. It's not really falling leaves. But it does smell like, like a flaky pie crust with a little bit of apple cider. Like an apple cider pie. Mm, that sounds delish. I wonder if anybody's ever made an apple cider pie. I like it. Alright. That's a lot of wax, you guys. I am super excited. I was so excited for this haul. I have three more pre-orders from other vendors coming this month. I have a lot of wax. And did I not say when I did my first vendor wax video that this is not gonna be as big of an addiction as last time? I'm not gonna let it get to me. I'm not gonna fall into the rabbit hole. I'm definitely going to scale back a lot though because what I have is a lot. It's uncontrollable, and I need to pay more attention when I order, placing smaller orders of things I know I like than, like, these crazy big orders because it gets really overwhelming. But let me know if you purchased anything from this L3 pre-order. What are you liking? Again, shout out to my girls, da Danny, Lori Brown. I forgot Lori Brown earlier. Love Lori Brown. Hannah, Jessica D., Two Quick Wicks. I love Two Quick Wicks. She has some amazing videos. So you guys are you guys are feeding my addiction too, left and right. But thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you're alerted every time I upload here. I'll talk to you soon.